and again we are hit again by another hurricane by Hurricane Helene and it just hit so hard in so many levels The show you've been waiting for. If this is your first time tuning into the Miguel Lopez show, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. The catastrophic devastation of Hurricane Helene through the Southeast United States region is just being horrific. So many people have been affected by this. One of the largest hurricanes to be recorded. It devastated parts of Florida, parts of Georgia, parts of Tennessee, parts of North and South Carolina. It's one of those storms that we see it coming and we know it's gonna be bad, but when reality strikes, it's even worse than what we thought, what we could imagine. When this storm landed in Florida, on Thursday night, it was like a regular four hurricane. I know it's hard for some of you to understand how horrific and how devastating is a category four hurricane. I have lived through multiple hurricanes. I have been in the eye of multiple hurricanes. The last one being Hurricane Ian, which came through the southwest of Florida as well. And I was living in the Fort Myers region and it just destroyed everything. It was not a fun sight to see. And again, we are hit again by another hurricane, by Hurricane Helene. And it just hit so hard in so many levels, not just to Floridian, but also to the other states that have been affected. And we are going on the fifth day since Hurricane Helene landed, make land for and five days later, five freaking days later, this administration has yet to show up either in Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina. They have yet to show anywhere there. Talking about when it's convenient, when they're not gonna be a nuisance, Man, get that F out of here. Like, I truly, there's no thing as when it's convenient. When your citizens are being hurt, when your citizens are hurting, you as the leader, you're supposed to show up there right away, guarantee, giving the boost, morale, the support, show them that you care, show them that you care for this freaking nation. But no, the president, chilling in his beach house. The vice president, fundraising in LA. So while Americans are suffering so many lives lost, so many property destroyed, <sighs> and this current administration, they have yet to do anything. Yes, oh, I mobilized FEMA, that's what the president said. No, FEMA got mobilized right away. You have not done nothing. I can see like the president, I guess he just tired. He doesn't care anymore. And the vice president, yes, do your campaign and do your fundraising. But remember, you are still in the freaking current administration. So when Americans are hurting, whether you like it or not, you part of the current administration that takes precedence over any fundraiser, over any sorority meetings that you got. And you guys still voting for these people. They have shown you how much they care about the American citizen. Oh no, something happens to Ukraine, Israel, Palestine, whatever the case may be. Right away, this administration wants to send money, wants to send all this stuff right away. Oh, but when it's American citizen, when it's your own people, where are you? Where are you? It's been five days. Why haven't you shown up there? Why haven't you gone there? But no, 
the media is not talking about this. They're not condemning this current administration for this. I know what they're going to do. They're going to start blasting and talking crap about Trump that showed up there, brought supplies to the people, and is going to every area that he can possibly go to. I bet you the media and the current administration is going to start criticizing him, saying it's a political storm. Political storm, my butt. Why don't you get up and go? <sighs> this is just... I'm so freaking mad. It gets me so mad because it shows you that they do not care about you. They don't care about the American citizens. I bet you if a name started with Ukraine right away, the government administration will be there. But man, and you guys are still gonna vote for these people. You guys are still supporting these people. You guys deserve to get whatever you get, like, I'm out, see you the next one.